table. That's business for you. That is, but that's what I'm saying. Business is, I mean, business is clearly Jack, but, you know, hey, I guess. Business is, you know, the dog eat dog type of deal. It sure is, like man. People say, you know, they, they're your friend and they're looking out for you. I mean, everybody got all tell your motives. Facts. That's facts. That is truly facts. Oh, and it's funny, actually, speaking of the old games, too, though, and I just saw my SSX case. Um, bro, I, I mean, that was the thing. Also, about SSX, they, they did it in, in, uh, for, um... They did it for uh, PS3, so that's why I'm like, why not be able to do it for, uh... Yeah, but I mean, like, with the PS3 version. Yeah, ain't nobody, but... like, playing it like that. Like, yeah. not to say it wasn't a good game, but I mean, like, enough people was like, I'm not playing that. They want to yeah. play, like... That, that. <laughs> nah. Nah, that's say, true. They weren't really trying to play that version of SSA. Not... That's actually very true. No, I would say that I think it was a fun game. Like I liked it, but it definitely did not. It wasn't. It wasn't the old ones. That's for sure. The old ones. The old ones just kept you so interested. It was like these, bro. It's like all the old games, like these, like Tony Hawk and stuff. Like you could really sit and play that shit for hours and not, not even think about it, bro. <laughs> I didn't realize how, how much easier it was to do that with those old games, until recently when when we haven't had any of them in a while. And I'm just like, I'm like, damn, yo, like, that's actually a good point because, um, we, we didn't, we didn't have that, uh, uh, for a while. There's, I mean, there's games that I can sit down and not, like, obviously games that are story driven, you know, uh, the Uncharted's and stuff. Those are great. Uh, but I just mean, like, games where it's just like, it's just fun. Like, <laughs> and it's just like, you know, this is, uh, this is it. Like, sitting there playing that forever, bro. Yeah, hey, I mean, listen, man. The shit is this. You see how there's no microtransactions in uh, Tony Hawk right now? Yeah, no, that's coming. It's coming. Yeah, hey, it's coming. You can, you can see it from a mile away. Where it's just like you look at the uh, the store and how they got everything in it. Oh yeah. They're it's gonna add some new stuff. They're gonna add all types of different brands, and it's gonna look real funny in like a month or two. Oh yeah. You know what they but they kind of told us, and anybody who didn't see but see uh, didn't read between the lines, uh, and I'm not judging, but they probably just they either just weren't they either weren't paying attention or they're in denial. But when they said there's not, they, all they said was they said no, we're not gonna have any microtransactions at launch. They specified at launch though, so if you didn't specify at launch, you know that means that shit is coming, bro. <laughs> like, and these days. Uh, games survive almost only with microtransactions, or at least that's what it feels like. <laughs> because, yo, who is Shield Break Kid? I have no idea, but like, I for the longest I thought I was blue and I was seven mistaken. I know. <laughs> I was saying that earlier. That I was, I was in that same position. Like, what time? I was like, bro, why am I? I was like, yo, what is going on here? It was like, I yeah, bro, that's. Was <laughs> not. <laughs> not yeah. I don't have not one. Not a one. Hey, bro, I know, and I only I have two only because I went up top and then I, I stole a couple. I got five now. I was going off on these people's things, but sometimes that shit just don't turn, bro. And I'm like, yo. <laughs> but yeah, bro. Uh, but no, but these days though, it is facts that you know you. you the games are gonna have microtransactions, they're gonna have DLC. That's just kinda how it's been now. Like that's kinda where we're moving and everything is becoming digital, so it's like you know. Which you know me, I'm not the most happy about that shit because I like my physical copies, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'm learning to embrace the digital because I'm learning out of space to put games. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I know you are, bro. Cause we, every time we, when we, when we had our dorm room, bro, we was, <laughs> we were coming, bro. We had games. We just had games from like all the generations. Cause we asked, especially um, the second time we came back, cause you got your GameCube too. So we had two, what well, we had, we had two PS4s in the room. We had a GameCube. We had a, we had two PS2. No, we had one PS2. Or two PS2s. I don't even remember. Yeah, and I'm. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what that's what we're like, yo, when the PS5 come out, I'm getting the standard edition, and then I'm just looking at the digital, and then it costs less, but it's the same thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. See, it's actually funny though, cause like I, I want the physical one, not gonna lie. Um, but hopefully by then, like the job I get, because I want to get both, uh, the Xbox and the PS5. Um, although <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but like these dudes really don't have games. Huh? That's why I said got no games. I don't know why you want to do that. <laughs> I'm about to say that. I'm about to be like, damn. Everybody's saying that, but it's kind of facts. Have you ever see um the Black Hole Kage's uh? Uh, top yeah, 10 that's, that's why I said that, bro. <laughs> bro, he's oh, they got close. Netflix. They have Spotify. Yo, that's hilarious, bro. Oh my gosh, that shit is hilarious. We, when, when, <laughs> yeah, when, I, when I watched that, I was like, oh, this man really spent 20 minutes clowning these dudes, bro. Like, 20 minutes to a half hour just being like, oh yeah, like, that game was fun, like, oh, Spotify, like, like <laughs> that, that one, I was like, damn, bro, it's that bad, but they really don't have any games, I don't know what happened, bro, I don't know what happened. Um, uh, what happened was, they wrote off the success of E60, that was gonna be able to carry him through the generation, and then, like, Tony Relief. Yeah. Sony's trying to get Microsoft out of the hardware shit though, anyways. But the thing is that's because uh people are saying, Oh, I was reading this article on Forbes once, I was gonna do a video on it on uh, like the news and they were saying that they were saying that like Microsoft isn't even trying to be in the hardware like game anymore. Like they're trying to uh, kind of like do software and I guess like just a lot of online shit. Uh, Cause technically they have PC even. I mean because they what they give the PC Game Pass. So I guess they don't really need. Uh, I don't know. I guess they don't really need it. Cause like uh, cause like you wonder why. I mean you're like y'all you, don't have any console sellers. That's what exclusives are. And the ones that come on every other system, that, that's not what's going to sell your system, so I, I don't know what they're trying to do. I mean, like, listen, Microsoft is a billion dollar company because of computer technology. I mean, True. they can care less about the video games. They just do it because it's there. It's easy yeah. money. Man. That's facts. <clears throat> That's, that's, that's facts. <laughs> Honestly. Like, like it's, it's cool when they're like really inspired to do it, but I mean like, hey, it could kill us. Yeah, no, that's facts. Yeah, it does feel like it was just more of a, like you said, like they're just like a more of just like, we can make like a, a little bit more money off this shit. But I don't think they care. <laughs> like. Cause if they did, like, you, you, cause they had the money to find studios to like do exclusives for, bro. Like, no, that's the thing. They've been, they've been getting the studios, but I mean, like, they just ain't been making the same. True. It's kind of wild, though. I mean, the thing is, they were smart. The the last smart move I can say that they had, as far as like video games go, is that basically they're selling Assassin's Creed like, uh, like it's an X, not, not like it's an Xbox exclusive, but like, like they have a deal with them, kind of. I mean, actually, Assassin's Creed yeah, has always been sponsored by Xbox, huh? I said they do have a deal with, uh, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, like, that's, yeah. That's exactly. like, um, what you call it, uh, what's the name of that new game? The stuff? Cyberpunk. Like, Cyberpunk, they have a deal with, uh, Xbox. Xbox, like, too, they get, actually. They get some exclusive stuff. Before like PlayStation, but I mean like it's the same to be said with like Call of Duty and uh, 2K. It's just like they flip flop every year on who gets the exclusive this or special that or you know? True. So it's not that fun. That's true. Although I think here, here's here's what they well okay neither one of those games will ever be an exclusive obviously uh, because I no. truly do believe that Assassin's Creed is obviously never going to be an exclusive, but I do believe that. Um, I believe that um, Cyberpunk is gonna is gonna be that good where it could be a, a game of the year nominee. 
uh, just from what I've seen, just because it just seems like it really is very ambitious. And it's CD Projekt Red, like, you know, like, they made The Witcher 3. Like, people, they, they're one of those companies where you're like, this shit's gonna be good. The question is just, like, how good? Um, and so it looks good for them, for, for Xbox, that they have that deal, but... You know, it would be a real, it would be a real thing if, oh, good shit. It would be a real thing if, they, if, it was, if it was actually an exclusive. I mean, I'd be highly upset, but. <laughs> oh, listen, a lot of people be upset because first and foremost, they'd be like, yo, I, I don't got no Xbox. I don't want to pay for no Xbox. Right. For one game. <laughs> for one game. And granted, it might be a very good game, and it could go down in history, but it's still not worth, uh, whatever, 600 I don't, we don't even know how much we're gonna be paying right now. I mean, I yeah, think I know what the PS4, PS5 is gonna cost, but, you know. Yeah. It's probably gonna cost, like, what, 600 I think? Honestly, so, I don't know, and the reason why I would say that it's actually probably gonna be about 450 or 500 is because, or, like, like, one will be 450 and the other one will be 500 or something like that, is because late, at one point, they had a, um, it kind of leaked, like, like, I took a picture, I looked at PlayStation 5 price, and it said it was coming out November 13th, um, and it said that it was going to be like 450 for the digital, and I think 500 for the, um, for the physical, or, or it was like 450 for the physical and 400 for the digital, I don't remember, um, but... And then when I looked it up again, like, that was gone. So I don't know. And, and I know one person was just talking about how they thought that that was the leak. Because um, they don't, I don't think they, they don't want to make it too expensive. Uh, the games already are going to be co costing more. Like, they're all going to be, like, they're going to start to be 70. I mean, I, I, in the beginning, it looks like companies have a choice. Uh, whether or not they want to make it 70 or 60. But, I don't know, after a while, it'll probably just be, it'll probably be <coughs> 70 for, like, Well, I mean, I... I, I don't know if all the games are going to be 70 or 60 because, like, the only games that have been confirmed for $70 is made by Activision and Take-Two, and they love to rob people, so. Oh, <laughs> he's Activision and Take-Two? Nah, that's facts. I mean, like, hey, they're in it for